All right, strong women of Louisiana, a welcome to your Women's Business Symposium hosted by our very own Hispanic Chamber of Louisiana. You all know, like me, we've been dealing with this global pandemic of COVID-19, not only in the state of Louisiana, the city of New Orleans, but throughout the United States. Uh, the city of New Orleans is considered and has been considered a major hotspot uh, for this virus. Uh, it has absolutely impacted the residents of our city in record numbers, uh, where uh, we make up a, a large uh, population of the state of Louisiana. Uh, it has hit our communities significantly, and particularly our communities of color. And just like today, we are in the Mid-City community at First Grace, uh, making sure that we are providing access to testing specifically to our Latino community because we know, just like the African-American community, that we have to take a deeper dive, meeting our people where they are and ensuring that they're tested and that they're safe and that the quality of their life, that it matters and it is at the forefront of not only how we respond to this pandemic, but as we move towards recovery and reopening the city. This speaks to you, women, women in business. You make up the majority of our small businesses throughout the city of New Orleans and the state of Louisiana. And we're going to make sure that you get your fair share. You heard me talk about this last year when we were pushing to get um, uh, just a little bit more of what we generate from hospitality to benefit the city of New Orleans overall. And we came out of that strong. Well, now we're still focusing on making sure that our people get its fair share as we respond to this pandemic and as we look to support our businesses, again, meeting our people where they are. We have pushed forward with a real partnership, for example, with Goldman Sachs, 10,000 small businesses, to where last week we unveiled a partnership again with Goldman Sachs and Hope Credit Union, bringing $50 million of gap financing to small businesses to again address your shortfall so that you can continue to thrive and serve the communities throughout our city and throughout our state. The work is not done. We will continue to ensure that our women-owned businesses are at the forefront of all of our efforts advocating for more federal dollars coming through the CARE Act and even more to come as it relates to disparities and disparity gaps related to health in our community that we continue to see. But it takes us all to lean in, to pull together in partnership, and to be relentless in our commitment to ensure that our small businesses, our women-owned businesses thrive. Because again, you're at the heart of our families. You're at the heart of our communities. And we wanna make sure, again, that you have the resources and tools that you need. And this is why the Hispanic Chamber of Louisiana continues to serve you in the best capacity possible. So I thank the leadership of the Hispanic Chamber of Louisiana, and I appreciate you all, you women, strong women, to continuing to partner together to ensure that your needs are met so that you can continue to meet the needs of our children, our families, and our people in the city of New Orleans and the state of Louisiana.